Hey guys, Happy New Year. As you see, we got Bowlby up on the lift. The 74 standard Sunbug. So, you might know a little bit about this car if you've seen 5150's video of me and him rescuing this car. Um, I'm going to go over a little bit more, a little more in detail about this car. Uh, supposedly, it was a uh, body off resto. Uh, not, I don't think it's a full resto. I know they repainted it, the school bus yellow. I know they did the pans. I know they did the heater channels. Uh, I'll look in to see what else, other repairs they might have made on the car. You know, there's they're shaved, they're shaved blinkers on it. Um, obviously, different fenders, earlier style taillights. I don't know what the plan is for this car yet. I don't know if it's the one I'm going to keep or I'm just I'm going to send after I uh, fix it up a little bit more, make it a little more roadworthy. And if you've seen the video, you would know it, it does run, it does drive. Uh, i got to do a couple other things to it. For overall, what I see, it looks like a solid car. So let's get into it. So again, this is a 1974 standard Beetle. And we got a 1600 dual port AS41 case. Got some new heater boxes. And they are hooked up. Uh, this one, the cable's broken. The driver's side looks like it's connected. Kind of weird, a little rickety. I don't see any thermostats in here. I do see a pin where one used to go. We got some adjustable shocks in the back. Yeah, in or out. What do you think? IRS, obviously. Undersize looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see, let me get some light over here. Hopefully that brightens it up a little. Not really. But uh, these pans look solid. I don't see any holes. Battery tray. Solid. I don't know why these bolts are here. Actually, I think the regulator is actually attached to the floor for some reason. I think that's what that is because the regulator is on the floor. Not a good idea, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure it goes on the side next to the next to one of the heater channel. But, uh, if I can remember, starting this car up, the engine uh, moves side to side a lot. So these motor mounts are all dry rotted. They got to be replaced. Let's see what else we got underneath here. Jack point. That's that's solid. Like, these pans actually look really decently installed. Like you can see the the body seal all the way around. I see that. All the bolts are intact. Oh, it looks like someone jacked it up a little wrong here. Crushed this a little bit. That's, that's nothing though. No holes underneath the pedal. Just surface rust. All of this is just surface rust. So we got up front. We got a horn. It's the first car I've had with a horn here. Snake. Uh, what is up with these brackets? Are these brackets supposed to look like that? With the big blunt end here cut? Hmm. I don't know if someone comment, I'm not sure. Uh, looks like someone did a little little welding work, a little patch here for something, I don't know. It doesn't No, it's just solid, so maybe something was a little rusted here or rotted here and they fixed that. I don't see any sign of destruction from a crash or anything like that so I think that's pretty good this is all solid uh, I don't see a sway bar here that missing I know some people take them off yeah it's not on here I prefer a sway bar oh yeah this side has it too that blunt little bumper bracket yeah that's how they're supposed to be this is all 
seems all good. It's a little weird. A little weird right there. The welds, like they didn't finish. I don't know. Still, this is this is solid. It's a lot of this surface rust from sitting for the last five years. Outside in the grass a little bit. Let's check this side out. Same thing, this thing is solid underneath here. I don't see any rot. Passenger jack point is good. I don't jack from there. I always jack from right where the lift is jacked from. And this thing, this thing is, this is not bad. Just the surface rust makes it look a little ugly, but I'll take surface rust over rot any day, as I'm sure any of you would. So let's start by seeing how much gas is in here, how the tank is, and uh, we're gonna drain it. I can smell it already. It smells terrible. We got a little fuel in the float. Mm, that's not good. I'm gonna have to replace that. Let's see what we got in there. I'll rust it out. I don't think so because there's fuel in there. Oh no, we got some rust in there. Let's see if we get a picture in there. Yeah, I'm gonna drain this. Let me get the little siphon. Little uh, windshield wash fluid bo bottle. Get this junk out of here. Oh, look, oh, you can see it. You can see the rust particles. Oh my. see any issues here I don't even see the brake master leaking where it's leaking from at least the tanks out I can wash that out now get that all squared away so wash the tank out a lot of rust in this tank now we're gonna throw some apple cider vinegar in there about two gallons I had good luck on it with the uh, 67 the Java so here we go so the first thing I usually do is power wash it out and then I throw a chain in it and then uh, shake it around. Probably do that 10 times with the chain in there, break all the loose rust up. And then this goes in here. Then we let it sit for a night, two nights, maybe shake it around a little bit more with the chain, depending on how bad it is. And uh, rinse it out, throw gas in it, right after it's installed, good to go. Till next time, guys, be safe. You think number four could be a little, just a, just a tad loose? That's what I'm hearing when I start it.